In this lesson, we are going to learn a memory device that allow you to memorize all the exponential values of the common prefixes used with SI unit. Now the name of this device is called two spaces. Notice two spaces, King Henry memory device. So it's about King Henry involving two space. So here is the memory device. It start with mighty space space, two space, King Henry die, unusually drinking chocolate milk, space space, again two space, until space space, again two space, nine space space, again two space, PM. So we have this statement. You have to memorize the statement first. What does each word in the statement represent? It represents a specific prefix in a specific order from largest to smallest. Okay. First of all, we have mighty represent mega, and that is represented by capitalized M. Then we have king represent kilo, lowercase k. Henry for hectos, lowercase h. Die for deca, lowercase da. Then we have unusually represent all the possible SI unit. We have grams, meter, liter, seconds, mole, joules, volt, candela. And each of them represents specific thing. Gram is for mass, represent like G. Meters, M for length. Liter, represented by L for volume of liquid. Second for time, represented by S. Mole, represent lowercase m-o-l, is basically the amount of substance. A mole of anything is equal to 6.02 times 10 to 23rd particles of that something. Joules is a unit for energy, represented by J, capitalized J. Volt, capitalized V, is basically represent for it's a unit for electric potentials, and candela is represent luminous intensity. Now, these are all the possible SI units that you work with in chemistry. So let's continue. Drinking represent deci, represent by lowercase d. Chocolate for centi, represent by lowercase c. Milk for milli, represent lowercase m. Then we have until. This until is a symbol micro. The symbol micro look like the letter U, so right here, micro. So until is micro, represented by this letter U look alike. Then we have 9 for nano, represented by N. Then we have PM for pico, represented by P. Now how do you determine the exponential values? Of course, we are starting with the word unit. Basically, you start with the unit. At the unit, you are starting from zero, okay? Because there are no prefix. You just have the unit by itself. You either have gram, meter, or liter, okay? Now, going back, we said this is the largest. This is the smallest, okay? So let's start from the largest. We can count off from here. We have zero. So going this way, it's going to be one, two, three. Then we have space. So therefore, this is going to become... 4 and 5 and lastly we have mighty 6. How are these numbers related to the exponential values? Basically they represent the exponential values in terms of the exponent part. So this would be 10 to the 5th, this would be 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 2nd, and 10 to the 1. And here we have 10 to the 0 which is equal to 1. Okay, where we start? We always start from 1. Okay, let's continue to the smallest possible prefix. In this case, again, go back to zero. So what's after zero? What's smaller than zero? We have negative one, followed by negative two, negative three. And if we zoom in, this becomes negative four, negative five. So each space represents a values of exponent. Then we have micros, negative six. And we have space again, negative 7, negative 8, and then nano is negative 9, then we have negative 10, negative 11. Again, how is this number related to the exponential values? Basically, we have, this would be 10 to the negative 1 for deci. For centi, it would be 10 to the negative 2 
For Millie, we would be 10 to the negative 3. Then here we have Micro, that would be 10 to the negative 6. Then we have Nano, that would be 10 to the negative 9. And then we have Pico, that would be 10 to the 12. Oh, I forgot about right here. Now after negative 11, this would be negative 12. So this negative 12 belongs to Pico, which is represented by P. So this is all you have to do to memorize all the exponential values for all the common prefixes that you use with your SI unit. And once you know your prefix, you are able to convert from any of the prefix to another prefix in here easily.